Welcome to Electro Online. Here we have something slightly different. Here we're adding and subtracting some rational expressions and they do not have the same common denominator, which means we have to find the lowest common denominator and rewrite this over that lowest common denominator. The lowest common denominator would be, in this case, LCD is equal to x minus 1 squared times x squared. So that's our lowest common denominator. Every denominator here fits into this denominator, which means that we have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by what's missing. So this can then be written as 7 over x minus 1. And now notice that, and I'm looking for my red pen here, that the, both the, the top and the bottom can now be multiplied by x minus 1 times x squared x minus 1 times x squared and notice that the denominator now is equal to the lowest common denominator. Again when you cancel these out you end up back with what you started with. Plus the quantity 2 times x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 squared and notice that if I multiply both the top and the bottom by x squared I have the lowest common denominator here, and when I cancel these out, I end up with what I started with. And finally, the third fraction, minus 2 over x squared. What I'm missing in the denominator is the quantity x minus 1 squared, and I have to multiply, of course, the numerator by exactly the same thing. Again, when I cancel these out, I end up with what I started with. But notice now that all three denominators are the same common denominator, which means I can write the whole thing over one common denominator. That means I can write the following. Everything over the quantity x squared times x minus 1 squared. Now I'm going to multiply these out and collect common terms for the numerator. So first of all, I can multiply this times this. So 7 times x squared times x and 7 times x squared times negative 1, I end up with 7x cubed minus 7x squared. Here, 2 times x squared times x gives me plus 2x cubed, and 2 times 1 times x squared gives me plus 2x squared. And finally, when I multiply this out, let me do that on the side, x minus 1 quantity squared is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1, and then multiply that times 2, 2 times this, I end up with plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 2. I simply took x minus 1 squared, multiplied it out, and then multiply times 2 to get this. Now I can collect common terms in the numerator. This is equal to, first we start with the x cubed terms. 7x cubed plus 2x cubed is 9x cubed. The x squared terms, I have minus 7 plus 2 plus 2, that's minus 7 plus 4, which is minus 3x squared. I have a, let's see here, I have a minus 4x term, a single x to the first power term, and plus 2, all divided by the denominator, which is x squared times x minus 1 squared. And this would be the final form of that original problem. Again, you have to find the lowest common denominator, the denominator, the smallest one where all denominators fit into, and that's the case with x squared times the quantity x minus 1 squared. Multiply the top and bottom of each fraction with the proper quantity so that you have the same common denominator for all three fractions. Write it over one common denominator, multiply every numerator out, collect common terms, and that's the answer. And that's how it's done.